This last 14 years of drought, I thought was principally climate change. It uh, may well be a, a cycle superimposed on climate change, um, but that's been marked. I mean, our rainfall dropped 20%. Frequent snowfalls have become rarer. Uh, heavy snowfalls have become even rarer. Stanley hasn't had bushfires for a long, long time. In the last 10 years, we've had two major bushfires, and the last one was a catastrophic day, which we've never, never run into before at all. Flash flooding we've never seen before. We had, not at Stanley, but in my father's place down at Ben Valley, Yak and Danda, you know, four inches of rain in an hour. My father's 82, he had never seen it before in his life. And I, he's always sort of said, look, you know, we have dry years and wet years. And my father and my grandfather said, you know, he remembers when the Murray River was dead stopped at Aubrey and the Murrumbidgee was stopped at Tumut and that's normal. But uh, last year, the summer, I've never seen him rattle like he was rattled before. He was shaking his head. Ninety-seven point one percent of climate scientists agree climate change is happening and humans are the significant cause. Yet publicly, this consensus doesn't exist. We've seen people rejecting well-established evidence, destroying experiments in progress, whipping up fear, uncertainty and doubt, and making dangerous choices based on the conjecture of charlatans. These aren't isolated issues. And though a lot of people are extremely pro-science and, and would struggle to imagine a world without science in it. There are divides on a number of scientific issues that don't seem logical, don't stack up from the view of a scientist. That begs the question, why aren't people listening to science? Connecting all of these issues is a common thread, evidence being ignored. The economist Maynard Keynes once said, when the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do, sir? On all of these issues, the evidence is in. The climate is changing and humans have significantly caused it. The benefits of vaccination far outweigh the risks. Genetically modified organisms can play a critical role in feeding the planet. Yet on all of these issues, this evidence is being rejected and ignored. There is obviously something deeper happening here. Two ways of approaching evidence. We can look at this scientifically and try to understand what's influencing how we see and act in the world, basing our decisions on the evidence we see in the world or our decisions changing the evidence we see. I'm Luke Menzies. And I'm Will Grant. And this is a film about these divided scientific issues. <laughs>